Okay, example um, one, before we do that, I wanted to go through something we already know how to do, which is adding like terms. Because this is, it, it doesn't look like the problems, obviously, but the same type of technique is used on what we're doing today and what we did with adding like terms. So if you take a look at number one here, 3x and 4x both have x to the first power, so we're allowed to add them. We add the 3 and the 4 to make 7, and then x to the first power is what made them alike, so that's what we get is 7x for that. If you look at the second one, we have 7x plus 3x, and we have plus 2y, and we have minus 5y. So 7x and 3x both have x to the first power, so addition to those is legal. 7 plus 3 makes 10. What made them the same was x to the first. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. What made them the same was y to the first. So 10x minus 3y is the best I can do to that one. In this bottom one, 2x plus 3y plus 7z, if I'm adding like terms, this has x, this has y, this has z. Addition and subtraction is not legal in that scenario, so we can't do anything to it. That's as simple as that can possibly get. So adding like terms, it's a skill we learned probably less than 25 to 30, somewhere in there. It's been a while since we've seen it. We've been using it pretty frequently. <clears throat> the same type of technique is used to add radicals. So example one on your sheet, we're supposed to add 4 squared to 2, minus 5 squared to 2, plus 12 squared to 2. In order to add radicals, the radical objects have to be the same radical object to be able to add them. Just like all the, x's had, all the terms had to have x, we could add the x terms together. All the terms had y, we could add the y's together. Everything that has a square root of 2, we can add those together. And what we're adding is not the square roots of 2, but we're going to be adding the numbers in front. So 4 is going to be added to negative 5, which is going to be added to 12. 4 and 12 make 16. 16 minus 5 makes 11. And then what made them the same, that be able to add and subtract them at all, was the square root of 2. So we're going to throw a square root of 2 on there. And we're going to get 11 times the square root of 2 as the final answer. And that's the most I can possibly do to that. So again, addition and subtraction of radicals requires that the radicals be the same. And then you simply add and subtract the numbers in front and sticking the same square root that made them the same on the answer.